Hey YouTube, this is Asia. Grell and Be Gone. Um, where should I start? <laughs> Let's see. It is uh, 26 weeks post-op on uh, this just yesterday. Mark my 26 weeks uh, surge anniversary or my six month surge anniversary. And um, I'm sitting here in a shirt that's a 1416 from Lane Bryant that I've had in my closet probably since February. And, um, you know, I had this little emotional moment um, just a few minutes ago when I was getting dressed. I'm headed out to my six month surgeon's follow up appointment. And so I had this little moment and I was like, I need a hug. Like, if I could hug myself, I would because. Putting on this shirt and, you know, all the other times I put it on and just, it wasn't appropriate to go out of the house and I mean, it's just too snug. But putting on the shirt today and knowing that I'm going to get in my car and I'm going out in public um, to my surgeon's follow-up appointment was, you know, something that I think means so much to me. Like, I almost wanted to cry and I was like, I just need a hug because you're on this journey. Um, and you just don't know where it's going to take you. And six months into this journey, um, I'm still very happy about the decision I made. And to see, you know, I w went to the gym this morning and had a really good workout. And then, you know, just sort of random, let me see if I can put this shirt on today. And, and I got to put it on. And so I am trying to appreciate every little moment. You know, a few months ago, I was fussing because I'm so sick of being a size 18 or being able to fit 18, 20s. And I still have some in my closet that are still able to uh, be worn, but they are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so I just have to appreciate the moment. But this shirt is a 14, 16, and it's a tailored kind of shirt, so it has um, like a lining in the back and stuff. And the fact that it fits and I go out in public, oh, I don't know how to explain it. So for those people who are pre-op and really still wondering, should I have surgery, you know, it is a cost involved. Um, it's a cost in your time. It's a cost in your pocketbook. It's a cost in um, just having to take vitamins every single day and buying all those kinds of things. And so many times um, Tamika and I will talk about, you know, yeah, we're spending a fortune on vitamins and protein and all this stuff, but we also spent a fortune at restaurants, eating up every single thing we wanted to eat up. And so if you look at it that way and realize um, the money was being spent either way, at least now it's being spent in a more positive way. So anyway, um, <clears throat> back from Vegas, had a really good weekend, hadn't been to Vegas since December 1998. And to see all the beautiful buildings and um, be able to go into the wind and the Venetian and the Palazzo um, and the, the new Cosmopolitan. I just put a picture on Facebook. I had seven cents from the slot machines I didn't cash out. And I was like, man, oh man, they got to send me my money. But um, anyway, it was a great weekend seeing everybody that you watched for months on YouTube and to see them real life and in person. It was so exciting and um, just to be able to be around people who are all on the same journey was really good. And um, so I want to stop by and say hello to everybody. Um, I'm constantly on Facebook. I say that all the time. Shea Leonard on Facebook. If you're not following us or friending me on Facebook. Um, my name is Shea Leonard on Facebook and um, I'm always throwing up a picture or saying something exciting um, that I feel excited about at the moment. But I want to talk about um, my numbers. Uh, I'm down 113.6 as of today and I wasn't too thrilled about my 113.6 because last Tuesday I was 113.2. So after Vegas, I found that I only lost 0.4 pounds. And I really do say only lost um, because the lowest I had ever only lost was one pound. And I mentioned that in the previous video. And so I looked around and I'm like, what happened in Vegas? What was that about? And, you know, Tamika and I were uh, on that trip together, a new me 1109, and, you know, God is our witness, we ate bariatric 
uh, we ate according to the bariatric lifestyle. I mean, we shared, uh, the first night we shared like some black uh, bean shrimp from the Chinese. There's no rice involved. There's no, you know, big plates of carbs and all that kind of stuff. And um, just over the course of the days, we ate, you know, our bariatric lifestyle. I had my protein shakes in the morning. But what I did notice was all the snacking I was doing. And you know what I was snacking on? And I so wish I had kept a bag was all the giveaways from the event. <laughs> the revival soy chip things or the little bags of, um, I guess they'd be soy of some sort, but it'd be like seven grams of protein per the little bag. And I probably have four or five of those bags over the weekend and protein bars, tasting all the protein bars and stuff. And I was like, something is not right. Like, I felt like I was binging in a way. All because I'm eating what is considered bariatric safe um, and certainly the water mark was not hit I think Friday was the only night I got in 64 ounces of water uh, I did not hit the water mark sat Saturday and Sunday and um, I was like what is all this I felt like so much nervous energy like I wanted to snack and snack and snack and I was like it's that chip quote unquote bariatric safe food uh, and, and me with these uh, protein bars every day and I had to evaluate that and I'm like I'm not feeling that snacky feeling you know I'm gonna snack where's a bag of Cheetos if I'm gonna be driven to feel like I want more carbs and so I think that we in this community you know if we're focused on trying to get to our goal or stay at our goal really have to step back and evaluate every step of the way what's happening what are we doing and immediately make the changes and i'm like i don't want any more of those bariatric safe chips in my life they um it says seven grams of protein on it but it it, it kept driving that whole snacky feely jumpy uh give me something else to eat feeling there was no satisfaction in that other than pacifying time pacifying time so there's a lesson for me lesson for me to fight no matter if i'm traveling to get in my water and of course going number two you know i talked about that in my last video um just really continue to work on being able to go constantly and i think that um, impacted my weight loss as well so lesson learned i am um back to my normal routine I actually have a big um, water smart water waiting on me and um, I'm back to drinking flavored water I go through these phases I don't know if you guys do but I get bored with taste and I'm constantly changing up I'm just looking over my counter because I'm almost out of a new protein that I bought and I'm trying to figure out what other kind of protein I'm going to get um, I went through a phase of only drinking clear water. Now I'm back to drinking flavored water because I can get it down easier. And so I just watch myself. I watch how I'm responding to events. I watch myself, um, how my tastes change. Like, um, I just had chicken for the first time in six months. According to my surgeon's rules, it is six to 12 months out before you try chicken. And so in Vegas was my six months and I actually had chicken on Saturday. The Allergan band uh, makers uh, provided lunch for us. And so I had chicken, stayed down. I had chicken on the way home on uh, Sunday and it stayed down. But I don't think I digest chicken well in the big scheme of things. So uh, it, the point of that is to always be evaluating, you know, how's your body responding to something? Uh, is something a trigger for you? Do you um, like something one day and you don't like it the next day? It's like I'm always all over the place with um, things I like. But it makes the journey a little bit more fun because from week to week, there's only a handful of things that I eat regularly. And, and one of the main things is that Fahi 2% um, Greek yogurt and plain. So I do a lot with it. It's a staple in my refrigerator. I put some pictures on Facebook. I have I keep the two big <laughs> jugs of it. So that's probably the one constant in my life besides uh, some version of protein powder. But uh, anyway, everybody, I'm gonna post some pictures at the end. I got in the dress from the previous video. I was able to wear that in Vegas. And um, it was just, 
it was a great experience. And so if you didn't make the 2011 event, hopefully um, you can make the 2012 event. And uh, everybody keep reaching for your goals, keep bringing the rain, i.e. working out and uh, getting in the water. I learned from the Bariatric TV ladies, the, um, I guess it would be an acronym or an acoustic uh, spew, S-P-E-W. And that means supplements, protein, exercise, and water. And I remind myself of that all the time. So anyway, everybody, hope you're doing well. And uh, check out my pictures at the end. Okay, bye.